thanks for staying with us. Custom continue to wage war against import of hard drugs into the country. Also on custom support, the CG of customs speaks on custom training officers all over the country. Plus, more report. I am Igisema Idiye. Stay tuned. The Court of Nigeria of Nigerian Customs Service recently inaugurated units to fight against smuggling of petroleum products outside the country. The Petition revealed that the newly established unit started implementing the management directives as approved by Nigerian Customs Service CJ. We also gathered that some of the products have been intercepted by the unit. This is what he has to say at the meeting held in Abuja with members of the unit. We have attempted to be more professional in what we have done. Some 11 months down the line, we have started reaping the harvests of these attempts. Our revenue is going up. The numbers have been very good. In 2023, we recorded some 30 percent increase above what we uh, targeted to collect. We had a higher level of target in 2024, and by the Q1 of 2024, indications are beginning to show that we will also show a very good account of ourselves by the end of the year. Our smuggling performance has also not been very, very bad. Even if you have reasons to doubt some of the numbers, we have made smuggling a very tough business for those stakeholders who still invest in smuggling. We've launched a number of trade facilitation tools to ensure that we register the names of Nigerian customs service amongst customs administrations that are implementing trade facilitation tools and solutions. However, we cannot completely beat our chest and say we have done all we can if what we are doing does not directly impact on the environment where we serve. The environment we serve is a Nigerian society and there are lots of issues we certainly the average Nigerian currently. In the first quarter of 2024, we all witnessed the acute food shortage occasioned by you know, the fluctuations in the exchange rates and a number of other factors. Also at the meeting, a former controller in charge of FOU Zone A has this to say to the officers present at the meeting. However, Developments in our neighboring countries has tended to show that despite the fact that we have removed subsidy, despite the fact that fuel in Nigeria now sells around 700 naira per liter, it is not enough to deal with the problem of sufficiency in our local markets. And this is why sometimes we still have some situations where fuel is not available, where there are kings and things like that. The questions have been, the fuel that is brought to Nigeria, are we really getting the full consumptions of those fuel? Are we really consuming all that is imported into Nigeria? And there are two major indicators that will give us an indication whether that is correct or not. The first indication is if we compare the, uh, the price per liter in our neighboring countries. Well, we do know that in Niger, there is some development of uh, the petroleum industry, so they do have some local supply. But if we take our neighbors in the western and the eastern plan. In Benin, a liter of oil still sells for about 1,600 liters. And that's already more than double the amount it is sold in Nigeria. In Cameroon, 
our eastern, our eastern neighbor, fuel is sold for almost 2,000 naira per liter. I don't know how many of you follow the development that when in uh, Cameroon, following the announcement of this removal of subsidy, that there was a general demonstration of the citizens protesting what is happening in Nigeria. So that development has shown you that there is still that incentive to smuggle fuel from places where it is lesser sold to places where they are more expensive. It is not rocket science. And what is the second indicator? The second indicator is when we look at our data of seizure of PMS, particularly from January 2023 and January 2024, there is a progressive reduction in the number of seizures and interceptions by Nigerian Customs Service. The Customs Control General also speaks on how the service will implement federal government directives on the fight against smuggling all over the country. That has been crafted by the service under the direction of the CGC. You have been carefully selected. As you are all seated, you were selected directly by the CGC. Let no one tells you that there's any godfather anywhere, no godfather. He painstakingly chose all of you. And for you to have been chosen among the lots in the service, you should count yourself very lucky. The service has high hopes, expectations from you. We have challenges along our corridors at the borderline. Most especially smuggling of PMS, which has become a very big issue. Other issues too are there, but what is germane right now is the PMS that is being taken outside Nigeria illegally. You are in this program for three days for you to be well tutored. The custom boss has urged newly retrained officers of the young custom service to follow the rules of the game. He was represented by the Deputy Controller of Customs in Lagos. To the participants to be well behaved and follow the rules that set up customs in the last hundred years. This fundamental leap in the journey of your career as officers of the service necessitated the introduction of this regimental change of cadre, training to boost your understanding, perception, confidence, and comportment. Special appreciation goes to the Comptroller General of Customs and his management team, whose aspiration has been to build a well-trained, efficient, and very effective system for personnel of the service to meet global standards and competitiveness. The training officially commenced on the 5th of May 2024 for 348 officers. In the course of the training, the officers were taught Nigerian Customs Service Administration rules of engagement. Commandant of the college welcomed senior officers of various sectors who came to witness the events at the Customs College, Ikeja. Controller of Nigerian Customs Service, uh, one of his key agendas is training and retraining of his personnel. That is what we call the capacity building. And over time, 
when promotion is made, officers that are hitherto inspectors cadre migrate to a senior officer assistant superintendent too. We are not given adequate uh, training, change their mindset, and tell them, yes, you are no more that junior officer that you are. You are now a senior officer. So conduct yourself in a manner that a senior officer should conduct himself. That is the essence of this particular program. And it's very important because this is the first of its kind in the history of Nigerian Customs Service, spanning over 100 years. The CGC did it fit that going forward, any transition from one career to the other, you must come and do training or capacity building in one of our training colleges or even at the Nigerian Customs Command and Staff College in Gwagwalada. That is key. There is nothing more than training and retraining in what we know in normal parlance, capacity building. So that is what brought us here. Uh, he asked me to come and induct the officers. You have seen the induction. The induction comes in this way. It is the Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, Bola Ahmed Tunibu, GCFR, more or less now, using his constitutional powers, granted that induction. And that is why we are all here to grace this occasion. So training and retraining is one key agenda of the Control of Nigerian Customs Service. And going forward, he has promised he will not relent. That's why he said the college, whatever they ask, we will give them. Any organization that missed training and retraining of its officers, that organization is dead. The CG representative, a DCG in Abuja, so that training of officers will continue as approved by the management. Some of the deserving officers were given certificate for performing well throughout the duration of their course in the college. You are watching the program Customs Port. The Customs Area Controller in charge of Western Marine Command has intercepted illicit drugs worth millions of naira alongside with bags of rice. Yes, I said that the officers intercepted the means of conveyance from smugglers who jumped into the waters. The command had over 17 sacks containing 1,257 loaves of cannabis sativa, marijuana, or igbo, worth over 96 million, 96 million to NDLA, since 505 bags of foreign parboiled rice worth over 59 million naira. The Western Marine Command of Nigeria Customs Service, in its continued effort to purge the Western waterways of the offensive activities of smuggling, has intercepted and six 17 sacks containing 1,000, 200, and 57 loaves of cannabis sativa marijuana with a combined weight of 720 kilograms, worth over 96 million naira. At about 23.00 hours on Wednesday, 15 May 2024, a patrol team of officers and men of Western Marine Command at the Bar Beach Station of the Command received credible intelligence of movement of a boat on the high sea along the beach location, carrying items suspected to be offending items. Upon receiving this information, the team moved towards the described location and intercepted one fiber boat fitted with 200 horsepower HP Yamaha engine, carrying sacks of the suspected uh, items. In a related development on Sunday, 19 May 2024, a joint team of officers and men of the command, while on routine patrol along Paco Creek, Badagri waterways, intercepted one wooden boat fitted with a 25 horsepower HP Yamaha engine carrying suspected contraband items, and upon sighting our patrol boats, abandoned their boat and dived into the water. A, ca a careful examination, however, of the items being conveyed revealed 505, 505 bags of 50 kilogram 
foreign power rice, having a combined PDV pay duty value of 59 million 185,000 naira of both items and means of conveyance. Let I hand it over to Docs to NGL Officer on behalf of the City of Customs. I am here to receive 17 bags of sus suspected with to be a cannabis sativa. Uh, this is the synergy we are, we are talking about. This is, just, this is not the first time we received this kind of uh, items from Customs. I think the last time we were here was last three months. We were here, we received bigger exhibit. And this is, a, this is, this is, this is very uh, outstanding. I'm here, I, I, I use this opportunity to commend the, the, the controller for, for, for this gesture. At least, this, he just took over when he handed this, this kind uh, exhibit to us. The Moritla Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja, has intercepted drugs worth millions of naira at the airport. The customs area controller, controller deputy said that the consignment was seized at E arrival hall of the airport. According to him, the consignment has been handed over to NDL officials according to the tradition. He warned drug traders to stay off the airport or else they be caught and sent to jail. The customs area controller in charge of Air for You Zone B has accepted pangolin scale worth over three billion naira. The customs area controller said his men accepted the seizures without shooting anybody. He wanted importers to stop bringing in into the country on custom goods. He speaks more on the seizure. So, owing to actionable intelligence, our operatives stormed a hideout somewhere in the rural environment and evacuated. This sack of pangolin at about 16 zero zero hours on the 24th of May this year. In the process, it was devoid of any rancor, casualty free. As I did said before, pangolin is one of the endangered species that is protected by the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora CITES. It is instructive to note that Nigeria is signatory to CITES Convention and all forms of training in this species are clearly illegal. Nigeria Customs Service will continue to partner with CITES to forestall the, the identified species from going into extinction. The value of what you are saying, each kilogram of this costs $6,000. So, the cumulative value of what we are seeing today is in excess of 3.9 billion As I did said earlier, the suspect is there cooling his feet and we shall soon be taken to the court to face his trial. This offense Contravenes section 55, subsection 1, paragraph C, and 1 of Nigeria Customs Service NCS 2023, uh, Customs Service Act 2022. A former custom officer, also the public relations officer in charge of Tinkan and Upper Post Command, a former custom public relations officer in charge of Tinkan and Upper Post Customs Command, has been awarded the best monarch, the former controller in charge of Tech 2. The former custom officer, also a retired controller, Yuki Bello, says that the Joint Custom Service has helped him to grow wherever he is. He thanked people all over the country to continue to work with the Joint Custom Service so as to continue to fight against smuggling in all border areas in the country. 
The Customs Consultative Committee has called on the federal government to fine tune the law of foreign exchange in Nigeria. They made a call in Lagos. The CG was represented by the area controller in charge of Tinkan Island Customs Command. This consultative committee urges government's action to boost trade and protect local businesses through exchange rate moderation. The Customs Consultative Committee, CCC, has called on the federal government to review the Nigerian customs law to mitigate the impact of Naira exchange rate fluctuations against the dollar. During the inaugural quarterly Open Trade Roundtable Breakfast Meeting held at the Lagos Continental Hotel, Victoria Island, the committee emphasized the importance of this review to safeguard local businesses involved in imports and exports. Comprised of representatives from trade organizations, the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, business owners and industry players, the CCC highlighted the potential of the new law to increase Africa global trade volume, which currently stands at a mere 2%. Additionally, the CCC expressed its commitment to collaborate with the government by providing institutional support to ensure the effective implementation of the new acts. We have Eugene who has been in the industry for long. I have myself and we are still bringing some people to the board. And we have our grand patron, our grand chairman, who is the CG Wale Adini, that is giving us the necessary support they're supposed to give us. And uh, all this is we have to bridge the gap that has been not there for long. But now, with what we are seeing here today, it has given more confidence to do more and to make sure we get to where we want to get to. Because the freight in the, uh, we as the freight forwarder, we are looking for professionalism to be of international best practices. While acknowledging the positive aspects of the law, the committee stressed the need for the government to demonstrate the necessary political will to enforce it. The CCC also emphasized the importance of incentivizing good corporate governance and strict compliance with maritime sector regulations. Based concerns about the inconsistency in penalizing violations, stating that it is contradictory to encourage lawbreakers while those adhering to government policies suffer significant losses. Efforts to enhance the efficiency and profitability of Nigerian ports were also highlighted by the CCC. It called for the adoption of global best practices, emphasizing the need for ports to operate 24-7 and avoid the bureaucratic tendencies observed in the Nigerian port system. I'm really, really shocked at what I've seen here today. I'm definitely impressed, more than impressed, and I look forward to more of this by CCC. Though I've been hearing, thanks to our mommy, whom I call Mrs. Ezenwa, has always talked good about this and what they do, and it's more or less like uh, very, very impressive, I must tell you. This is what we want. This is what we'll be advocating. Let the, more of this happen within the co community system. It's going to help the system. It's going to help the decision because It's even going to help the people who think they know the practitioner, the, the, the market. I, I am actually very happy because this type of thing has never taken place. It is an idea whose time has come. And the turnout is quite impressive. Oh, this has been rewarding. It's been successful. I'm really amazed at the content of this meeting, whereby we have the stakeholders, the regulators, especially Nigerian customs, you know, answering questions, information. There is a new act uh, uh, for the customs. And uh, sensitization is very important. This is the first stage. Furthermore, the committee advocated for improved trade facilitation among key stakeholders, emphasizing the digitization of ports to reduce downtime and enhance trade relations. 
It also urged the federal government to reevaluate the timing of notices given to terminal operators as the current time frames of 30 and 14 days were deemed inadequate. Recognizing the dynamic nature of international trade and security supply chains, the CCC emphasized the need for process and operational reassessments. My opinion is that the advocacy is the soul of business. The Nigerian Customs Service uh, aligns itself with the expectations of World Trade Organization and WCO and uh, believes that predictability in business is what will sustain every business. And what happened here today is an attempt to encourage predictability in business. Uh, we are excited that Customs Consultative Council is pioneering uh, interaction between Nigerian Customs Service and its major stakeholders. One of the key elements that uh, we are taking away today is the invitation to the basic traders, the various trading associations, cutting across those that are selling uh, finished products. In addition to bringing manufacturers into this environment, you can see that it is a cross that is um, a, a positive one that will help further consolidate some of the gains that we've gain, uh, made in the reform of the Nigerian Customs Service vis-à-vis -vis the trading public. The CCC is committed to providing a platform for critical stakeholders in the transport and trade industry to interact freely and genuinely. It will articulate ideas and recommendations to policymakers in the supply chains, aiming to eradicate technical and human barriers that hinder trade fluidity and address issues within the shipping sector. Just before the end of this week, edition of the program Customs Report, we brought you a report where Pangolin worth about 3 billion naira was seized by FOU Zombie in Nigeria. For me, it is 780. Thanks for watching. <laughs>